Hi guys, it's JJ and this is Today with JJ. As you guys can see by the title of the video, this is Downtown Dallas versus Uptown Dallas. I just wanted to say the first thing I'm going to talk about is my personal experience living in downtown Dallas, Texas. These are all my own experiences, my own thoughts. I'm not bashing the city. I absolutely love Dallas. I love the downtown, uptown area. I just want to go over a few pointers if anyone is looking or trying to make a decision whether they want to move downtown, whether they want to move uptown, or they never even heard of uptown, which was my case. I never even knew where uptown was. I really just needed somewhere to go and I really wanted to live in the downtown area and boom, that's how I got to downtown Dallas. So please, please, please be kind to me. Um, I love Texas as a whole. I love Dallas as a whole. I love Fort Worth as a whole. So it's not a bashing video. This is just my own experiences. So let's jump right in to the video. So just so you guys know, I did move to downtown Dallas April of 2019 and I lived there for a full year. I left April of 2020. So let's start with downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. <laughs> it was an interesting, magical place. One con that I have about downtown Dallas was just the fact that there were a lot, a lot of homeless people. Now, I know in the downtown areas that tends to happen, but these were different homeless people. Like, this is stuff that I've never seen before in my entire life. Like, there was a lady full on buck naked downtown. I had to remove my sweater. I gave her my sweater. It was crazy. There would be homeless people passed out in front of, like, residential areas and things like that. And luckily for me, um, a lot of the homeless people that were like wilding out and like were like just doing the most they weren't on my street they were like one street over so it was crazy and just so you guys know where i lived i'm not going to say the name of the place but i lived exactly like directly right next to the headquarters of at&t in dallas so I was in that downtown area. So if I say it was street over, um, you would go one street up. But anywho, yeah, that was a little bit much. Like I just, I just never experienced anything like that. But I guess, you know, with all the good, there comes the bad. But that was one of the biggest cons for me. The second con of downtown was just the fact that it was very, very quiet. I kind of thought about it as like the financial district of downtown because like from nine to five, Monday through Friday, it was always popping. There was always people there, of course, because you worked there, things like that. But after that time, everybody would go back home and it was super quiet there. And a lot of the people that lived in my building, they worked right in the downtown area, but they were so over it. They were just like, after my lease is up, I am moving <laughs> because it's just it wasn't worth it for them to live down there because there wasn't that much to do after those times. As far as the pros to downtown, first biggest pro, it's centrally located. So there were a lot of events that were held in the downtown area. So it, so it was easier for me to get around. And even though I had a car, I didn't even need my car. My car stayed parked for the majority of the time that I lived there. I love to walk up to the parks. There was like a really small park like up the street from where I lived. And then also there was Clyde Warren Park, which was about a good maybe 12 minute, 10 to 12 minute walk, which was great. My church was right up the street. It was like less than five minutes. If you wanted to really get something quick and you didn't want to drive to either Walmart or Target, they have a beautiful little bodega on the corner right across from the Saks Fifth Avenue. You can get all the essentials that you need. So one of the amazing perks of living downtown, 
even though there were the homeless people that were there, they had a bunch of security downtown. So there were like a lot of security officers. I don't know what they were called, but uh, they were all on bikes and they made sure that the streets were clean, that, you know, if there were any disturbances with any of the homeless people, that they took care of it. I want to shout out my friend, really, really good friend, looked out for me the whole time I was there. His name is Daniel. So I want to thank him. He was completely awesome. When I had that experience with that lady that was bucket naked, I called him and he took care of it. They made sure that the downtown area was safe and we were safe. Oh, and another thing with downtown, there's Frankie's downtown. Thank goodness I lived only one block from that place. It really saved my life, especially when I was craving like the bar food and stuff like absolutely some of the best pizza of that that I've had. If you wanted to go to like a really chill bar, that's an awesome place to go and they were open super super late the food downtown was great it was good it wasn't as good as uptown so we're gonna get into that in a second as far as like food and having things that were accessible and the parks and the walkability i loved it and then the scooters you have scooters everywhere so you can scooter to wherever you wanted to go now let's talk about uptown uptown baby uptown baby now uptown dallas i absolutely loved and i really wish i really did wish that i moved there instead of moving to downtown for a few reasons so the first reason is that there is so much more in Uptown. So you have your Whole Foods there. So you have supermarkets. You have some of the best restaurants in Dallas. After 5 o'clock, it was totally quiet. However, in Uptown, that's where all the young professionals lived. And that's where all of them hung out. So all of the bars and all of that good stuff was over in that area. That's where I would be most of the time. So I loved Uptown. Now, one of the downsides to uptown was that it's much more expensive than downtown so downtown was pretty of it was really really affordable for a downtown area me coming from fort lauderdale and miami area it was very affordable i was like what i'm paying what <laughs> to live in the center of downtown let's say i was paying less than fifteen hundred dollars a month guys it was insane but going to Uptown, it reminded me, me more of Florida. I mean, again, it's a very popular area to live. Again, there's a lot of young professionals that live there. The apartments were much nicer. The apartment buildings were much nicer in that area. So there was a cost that came with that. So that was the biggest downside for Uptown for me. Um, as far as if I would need a car, no, because there was a trolley that went right through it from downtown when I just needed to like get away and just hang out and stuff. But it's, it's uptown is great overall. If you are a young professional and you want a really nice place to live, I would highly recommend moving to uptown versus downtown because again, downtown, it, there, there's a few cons and yes it's less expensive but to really like hang out do stuff you would be more in the the uptown area anyways so i recommend uptown if you are a young professional if you're looking for somewhere to live if you're coming from the new york miami like those really big cities california those areas yeah they're a little higher in price but they're not as high as those cities so you still can get a good bang for your buck there and you have more of a variety um because they have more like contemporary homes where i lived it was a more loft style it wasn't my style but again um i was in a little bit of a pinch and i needed to move into somewhere and i didn't know about the uptown area i would highly recommend to move to downtown versus uptown if you're a young professional or even if you are a young family I don't know who downtown is for. <laughs> I just know that it wasn't for me. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed my time there. 
and it served its purpose that is my video in regards to downtown versus uptown if this was any help to you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell notification button so you know every time i post a video and i want to thank you guys so much for coming by showing me love and if you have any video requests, go ahead and pop them down below. Go ahead and comment, 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 because it's No Rest November, and I'm making a video every single day this month. So until next time, guys, I hope you guys stay safe. God bless, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.